If you like my videos and want to support me on Patreon, please click the link below. Thank you. Hello everybody, Patman QC here, and today I'm giving you my review of PBA Pro Bowling for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and Steam. Now the version I'm reviewing is for Steam, and there are some minor differences from the console versions. The fine folks at Farside Studios were nice enough to give me a free digital copy for the Steam platform to give away on my channel. Watch to the very end of the video to learn what you have to do to enter. Bowling video games have been around for a long time, all the way back to the Odyssey 2 in 1978. Now in the 40 plus years since the development of this game, there have been some major advancements in trying to replicate the real sport of bowling. Tenth Frame was released in 1986 for the Commodore 64. This was the first game to simulate real physics on an 8-bit machine. The next major contribution would have to be Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling, which featured not only accurate pin and ball physics, but it also had the PBA license as well. In a lot of gamers' minds, this is the best bowling simulation ever made. And then, in 2009, Nintendo released its motion-controlled Wii system along with its free pack-in title Wii Sports. Aside from actually feeling the weight of the bowling ball in your hands, this was as close to real bowling as you could get at home. Even the ball and pin physics, which are the hardest to nail down due to the millions of pin combinations available, were done considerably well. So for the first time in 28 years, we have a full PBA bowling game on the home consoles. Developed by Farside Studios, the game started out life as a free mobile version on the Android and iOS. Don't let this sway you though, because even though the foundation of the game is essentially the same, the graphics, audio, and physics have all been overhauled completely. Now one thing I didn't like about the mobile game was the ability to set your spin on the ball after it's been rolling down the lane by tilting your device left or right. There are also various bowling balls that give you power-ups which makes the game a whole lot easier. I understand they did this because it was designed as a quicker picker-upper arcade style game but I sure didn't want this in my serious bowling game. On the console versions, unfortunately, this is the way it is. So for all you noobs without boobs, you'll feel right at home. Now on the PC version though, there is an option for simulation, which will let you set your spin before the ball is thrown down the lane, making it much more enjoyable in this bowler's eyes. According to one of the developers on the team, they are going to add the simulation mode into the console version in an upcoming patch. You get to take on the role of a rookie trying to make it in the big leagues of professional bowling. You start out with a smaller tournament and have to qualify to advance in the ranks. There are various achievements such as getting a turkey or three strikes in a row, a hand bone which is four strikes in a row, a 200 game, etc. One cool aspect of the game is getting to bowl on actual lane conditions that the real pros do which shows how difficult it is to get up there and knock down 10 pins on a consistent basis. There are 25 PBA bowlers in the game with a promise of more DLC to come in the future. Unfortunately, you can't play as these PBA professionals as you can only challenge them in the game. This was a missed opportunity in my eyes. The game also holds the actual Brunswick license and it includes over 100 different licensed bowling balls, each with a different reaction on the lane. Now let's talk about these graphics. I was and still am impressed with the 3D swooping camera angles from PBA Bowling 2 on Windows 98. 21 years later we finally have a game that surpasses it. If you want to know what it's like to attend a live PBA taping then this is the game for you. Everything from the lights to the pin sweep to the crowd have been faithfully rendered. The reflections on the lanes are very impressive. I read some people commenting that the graphics looked like PS2 quality. I don't know what the heck these people are smoking, but the graphics are very good and the animation runs at 30 frames per second. The bowlers in particular are rendered extremely well, from Kyle Troop's afro to Jacob Buttriff's earring. The sound is also very good, especially the commentary. Rob Stone, Mr. Hambone himself, and TV legend Randy Peterson give up the goods and describe your shots to a T, 
offering critical and sometimes comical advice. There's a nice atmosphere of the crowd along with realistic bowling pin sound effects. Speaking of, the bowling pin physics are pretty good as they tend to spin around and roll in a realistic manner. The controls for simulation are fairly straightforward. You press LB to set your targeting indicator. Pull back on the right stick to start your approach and then forward for the power. If you want to put spin on the ball, you either push left or right on the left stick during the approach. Now me personally, I would have preferred a golf meter three click style approach similar to the ones found in previous bowling games, but I do appreciate them putting the simulation mode in, which makes it a lot more fun and not quite as easy. It's not all gravy though. The game is pretty much bare bones. It would have been nice to see a creative bowler feature or some other bells and whistles. One thing that is irritating is the choice of camera angle when your ball enters the pins. It's always on the right side. It's hard to tell if your ball is going to be a strike or not because of this. They should have had a full on center view of the pins just like on TV, which frankly I'm surprised they didn't include considering how close everything else is to a TV style broadcast. There are also replays after every shot is thrown, whether it's a spare, a strike, or an open. There is no way to turn this feature off either, and sometimes it breaks up the flow of the match. Now I can see a strike or a split pickup getting a replay, but not every single shot. One other missed opportunity is the lack of online play. The game offers something called online tournaments, but online multiplayer is not a feature. Again, according to the developers, they were going to include it, but were having a problem with it, and they hope to include it in the 2020 first quarter patch. Now even with these faults, the game is still fun to play, and that's what's important. Also, it's only 20 bucks. A full-fledged PBA game in the year 2019 for only $20, that's a pretty good game? Sign me up! If enough people support this game, then perhaps someday we'll see PBA Pro Bowling 2. As I mentioned, the fine folks at Farside Studios have been nice enough to send me a free digital copy to give away on my channel. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video, and comment that you would like to win. That wraps up this review. Let me know down below if you bought this game and whether or not you're enjoying it as much as I am. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to support me on Patreon, please click the link below. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my content. It's the only way my channel can grow. Thank you for watching.